Oral arguments began today before the highest Texas criminal court to determine if the conviction of former U.S. House Majority Leader Tom DeLay will be reinstated. KITV's Dita Payton was there and spoke to DeLay after the hearing wrapped up. All smiles from Tom DeLay and his legal team. Feel great. Nearly nine months after a lower appeals court overturned DeLay's convictions. I'm cautiously optimistic that a majority of this court will recognize that this case is not about money laundering and criminal conspiracy, but like Tom said, like I told the court, the criminalization of politics. In 2010, a jury convicted the former House Majority Leader of illegally funneling corporate money to Texas candidates during the 2002 campaign cycle. Politicians can commit crimes and they should be prosecuted when they commit crimes just like anyone else. A judge sentenced delay to three years in prison, but the punishment was put on hold pending appeal. At the end of the day, you cannot take a series of perfectly legal transactions and transform them because you say so. While the third court of appeals agreed, Travis County Assistant DA Holly Taylor does not. And in this case, the court of appeals kind of ignored some of the key uh, witnesses that testified. This time around, both sides are confident in the judge's panel. It may take them a little while. It's a really long record and there's a lot to talk about. But these judges really know their stuff. This was the first time that a judge that I saw uh, had read the case, had read the opinion, and read the testimony, and really understood what this was all about. Dita Payton, KITV News. DeLay's attorney says if this appeal doesn't go their way, they will go back to the Austin Court of Appeals.